Hello and welcome back to part 3 of make your own emulator. In this part we will only cover one operation which is the drawing. But before we start with drawing I want to update you guys on a little uh, error in the code which is in operation 7. The code is correct but we forgot to increment the program counter by 2. That was everything. And I also changed the code so with a little bit of more brackets so I can use duplicate names in different uh, cases, which just saves a lot of bother because as you would get like x23 or x45, I don't know, just more garbage to type out, which would make it a lot and more unclear. I also added uh, prints on what the operation is doing and exactly what it is doing so we can see a lot more about what is what and just to fix this one this should be a hexadecimal string and as for standard we use a uppercase so drawing sounds like it's really hard and to be honest, it kind of is, but once you get it, it's not all that hard anymore. So with drawing, we need to do three operations. Drawing by XORing to the screen. Check for collision detection. And set that to register 16 correctly and we need to read the image from Y so the operation code is X Y N image X is the X coordinate Y the Y coordinate or actually Vx coordinate and Vy coordinate, and then you, we got the 8, which is the default width, because in a single byte of data we can store 8 pixels, and n is the height of the image. So we'll start extracting that. So x equals register v. I know this is a bit ugly but we gotta bear with it because else we have duplicate variables so I um, yeah so it's a bit worse so we'll end the upcode with the second nibble and shove that 8 bit to the right. We'll do about the same thing for the Y coordinate, which is the upcode ended with a third nibble, and we'll shift that 4 bits to the right. The height, or just N, I will call it height, is just the upcode ended with the last nibble. We don't need to do any shifting up from for the height because it's already the last nibble and it's ready to correct value. Alright, now we got these three variables from the operation. We can now start drawing. So we know that for uh, each height, so I'll call it underscore y smaller than height and we'll increment it and for the x offset we'll add underscore x which is smaller than 8 which is the amount of pixels per byte we can store and we'll increment it until it's 8 so before I go coming on with any further 
I want to explain this. I've uh, made a little example on this piece of code, which is the zero in the font set, to explain how bytes are stored. In, th in here we got a binary output from the values, and as you can see, everywhere where the value is set or the bit is set, we will draw a pixel, and else we won't draw a pixel. And this will constantly go on for each line, and slowly but surely, we have our image. And then we are happy because we can draw it to the screen. And alright, so the actual image, so I will call the uh, current line, I will call it actually line, which is memory y plus the y variable. It will, for each line, it will increment or not actually not increment, it will add one to the address pointer to get to the next line of the image. Just like in in this example, we uh, constantly update to the next byte in the uh, array to get to the next line. And that's exactly what we need to do with the memory. So to parse the actual pixel, we will use a bitwise operation, and um, which is shifting and ending. So the value 256 can be written in hexadecimal as 80, and we will shift that to the uh, underscore x positions. This will make sure our value is or the byte is drawn from left to right and not right to left. So this should be your output and not that this bit would be here and or basically would flip the image and that's not what we want. So to check if the pixel is set we will check if the value doesn't equal zero. If the value equals zero it's not good it will not be set and we won't have to do anything with it. So now we will need to calculate the index to add in the display which we will XOR with 1. Now to calculate the index we'll need to know a bit about the uh, display. The display. Oh, oh. The display is 64 width and 32 high. So for each y offset, we need to increment it. We will uh, for each y. We multiply it by 64 and then we add or x. Now the total x and total y is just basically the x plus underscore x and y plus underscore y. It's nothing special. This is effectively our drawing code, but that's only two parts of it because we also need to check for collisions. By default, we'll, we will set the collision flag or carry flag to false, which is zero. And now, and to check it, check if the the will be collision, we will check if the current display is already activated. If it is, we will set the flag to one. Else, we won't do anything, as we might overwrite a previous collision. And that's not what we want. So 
we also need to inform our frame that we need to repaint. So we'll set need redraw to true. This is not exactly correct as in in the loop you will have get two drawings at um, after each other which will look like it's removed flickering a lot on the screen and we will you uh, cover an episode of optimizations to get just a little bit of better effect out of it. Alright, so this should be the entire code. Let me check that for really quickly for you guys. As I don't think I've got anything. Uh, there is one more thing in the drawing which we will need to cover, which is screen wrapping. But I won't cover it right now because I didn't implement it yet. I will come back to that in a later episode. So we will see if our code is actually drawing something. And it is. I forgot to cast an integer there. So this is the grid, which will form like that. Uh, why is... Uh. Which will... F uh. Yeah. It will form a grid like... Like this. Just a quick sketch. Then it will draw a bat on this side, a bat on that side, and then we'll get a ball maybe here or somewhere. That will be a random position. So this will conclude our episode for today. This week we won't have any uh, assignment for uh, for this part. So I will see you guys next week. I will, but I will quickly. Yeah, this should be fine. Now we can ex exactly see what is happening in our program. Although I would like this one to have case. So I will see you guys next week.